Howdy y'all, Joe Hills here, recording as I always do in Nashville, Tennessee. And as you can see, I let the game run for a little bit to finish these houses we started constructing in the last episode, as well as this market here. And what happened too, I noticed, is that people started dying of old age, which never happens in chess, or, I don't know, um, shoots and ladders, snakes and ladders, really any game with ladders. Firefighters live very dangerous lives, so, you know, not a lot of survivors. Um, on a long enough timeline. Or a darkest timeline. Anyway, so I built a cemetery somewhere. Somewhere I put down land for a cemetery. It... I don't know. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I forgot. I really thought that I had indicated somewhere that I would like to collect the dead in a, a certain area. Well... Oh, hey, we better come claim all this before it dies to the cold. Good job, workers. Good job. Oh, probably because the farmer who was supposed to collect it died to the cold as well. No, he just died of old age. Okay, so we've got this problem. A lot of people are getting too old and they're aging out of the community. So, what we need to do is make sure that we've got enough kids coming up from these little houses here. See, we got these childs. Yeah, those childs need to go to the school, which, that's a trading post. Where did I put the school? I originally had put the school over here by the mine, but it was too far away from all the new houses, so I moved it. And currently there are zero people in the school. Hey, a merchant has arrived at my trading post. Let's see what he would like to trade. Corn seeds. Well, that's good, but unfortunately they're insanely expensive. Even if I maxed out everything I had here, I would come up short by half, it looks like on that. So let's see. I don't suppose there, there's a lot of anything that... I, oh, because of course the corn seed trader refuses to treat, uh, what do you call it, any sort of food as currency, which is lame. Um, so let's see. Well, I guess we're just going to have to pass on this one. Although when the guy comes back, it looks like he has the option of bringing a bunch of other seeds too. But whatever. That's fine. So anyway... We have our coal mine here producing coal. We have our tool guy here producing steel tools. Maybe uh, next time around we'll have enough excess steel tools that we won't have to worry about being short on trades. Unfortunately, by the time the pasture was built, all of our sheep that have been waiting in the little pen here died. I guess that's not as good a shelter as the pen that they would be in otherwise. So let's see. I think that what I want to do right now, though, is just focus on continuing to build more houses because the more houses we have, the better off we're going to be in terms of uh, not having everyone die of old age, which is just completely crucial. Also, I wanted to start developing out here. As you can see, I built a bridge across the thing here. So let's go ahead and, uh, you know, uh, start setting up some buildings. Now, I'm sure you're asking, like, what kind of buildings? Well, having an additional hunter would be good, because then we could be bringing in more leather. Um, so, also maybe another forester out here, so we're not competing with the other one. I mean, we're not really running the other forester at full capacity half the time, but it'd be nice to have. So, let's go ahead and get set up. Where is it? Hunting cabin. And we want to make sure that circle there covers as much forest as possible. Okay, so it looks like this is going to be our primo location. So we'll set our hunting cabin up there. And looks like we'll also need to reopen our farms for the season. Hopefully our farmers will not die of old age like last time. Thanks, guys. For the most part, I just kind of need to get people populated, educated, and developed. So I'm going to go ahead and time skip here. And hopefully that is exactly what will happen. Otherwise, I will gnash my teeth and pull my hair. Time skip. Oh, hey, wait. Also? Also? Yeah, let's get that. Pick up that iron. That's awesome. Excellent news. Although, well, some bad news. We're running low on fuel. So firewood is kind of a, a problem right now. But on the plus side, um, all the people who are freezing to death in their homes can do so knowing that we are busy trading away all of our firewood for chickens which are great. Let's go ahead and I guess we can only get four, three of the chickens. Ah, oh, dang it. That's unfortunate, but that's not bad. So we can go ahead and switch this sheep pen here to chickens. 
and turn one of wow we are running low on food well we d I don't want to get rid of any of the foresters because we're gonna need those I guess we can turn our tailor into a pasturer so come over here Taylor and great so hopefully these people here won't actually freeze to death in the interim let's go ahead and get rid of some of the firewood we've got sitting in here set the desired amount lower for right now until everybody gets a chance to get their firewood back in their homes because if I have a mass freeze off this is gonna be pretty terrible because this graveyard here which I did remember to build in fact um, only has nine graves wish I would have known that I'm probably gonna need like a thousand um, just cuz like these people are gonna keep dying of old age ad infinitum so let's see this guy is a herdsman who oh I need to unpause that too so hopefully he will take our chickens before they die out of here hopefully oh so many freezing houses please spring primavera bless us with your arrival okay so let's see how our chicken farm is doing at least there are three chickens supposedly there's one Oh, good. You can hear them just clucking away. Great, great, great. Our amount of food is just falling off the map quickly. You know what? Let's go ahead and pause construction on this. Well, no, because the hunting cabin will provide food. Uh, I'm worried that we're going to run out of food, and that's going to be bad. Actually, that's a really good reason to stop working on the tavern anyway, because that'll, that'll be food that people can have. Oh good, our marketeer has apparently died of old age. It doesn't give you a message when somebody dies of old age. They just die of old age. And so then you don't realize how much trouble you're in until all of a sudden everything that you run has stopped working. We just need to avoid our population spiral population failing or whatever. Yeah, see, six of nine graves. A whole bunch of people just died of old age all over one winter. Let's go ahead and pull some of our fish out and our mushrooms out of our trading post which oh no I don't have anyone working to actually unload the stuff and we're all gonna freeze to death this winter is what I'm seeing okay this might not be the best thing why is there just food lying along the side of the road here is that from people like dying while they were carrying food is that just lost to me to the prey and carrying is that prey to the dogs and carrying birds while the will of God moved on to fulfillment. This is just... Uh, good, so we have a path full of food lying on the ground. Thanks. Thanks, uh, villagers. You guys are the most terrible starving, freezing to death pawns I've ever had in a game of chess. Okay. Of course, the true opponent in this game of chess is, in fact, Death, who, as you can see, is winning 6-9 to nine over here in our cemetery. I'm not going to have the resources to build another cemetery if this thing turns south. Okay. I mean, I barely have the resources to... Okay, we at least have five students in... Okay, we've made it through winter into spring. Looks like nobody actually froze to death. So that is a small success. Now, the woodcutting is one of those problems that you can't really... Because you can only have one woodcutter per house... You gotta really lock that down, or, like, build an additional woodcut in house, which is not ideal. But you know what, let's just set that up over here. And that means we're gonna need a builder. So, ooh, we are running out of food. Let's rapidly, okay. We're running out of food, let's do the math here. We have a bunch of market people that are not going to be important if there's no food to put in the markets. So, we are going to pull both of our vendors for the time being and switch them over to uh, fisherman and gatherer. What else may we or may we not need? Is our herd actually doing anything? Hey, it's up to six. Okay, so the herd is, th this pasture is paying off. We're going to leave the pasture there. Uh, we need the herbalist because we're, or not the herbalist, we need the foresters because we're out of timber. The blacksmith we need because we will run out of tools and then it'll be a tool apocalypse. We need the teacher. Okay, so I think we've, we've got a population that is hopefully not going to completely go terribly. 
Oh yeah, I forgot. We're about to harvest this stuff anyway, so that'll uh that'll give us a big yield of food all at once. So that 489 of food we have now, once those guys carry that little bit of wheat off to the uh, places. Nope, it's now 494. Okay, so maybe that means nothing. Okay, 561. We're not completely dead. Great. Now the other thing to keep in mind is that's the amount of food that we have in reserve, not the amount of food that's in people's houses. Now, when people have that little snowflake over their house, though, that means they have literally no firewood. So not only do we have no firewood in reserve, we have no firewood in these people's homes. And so they are probably all going to die. That is a legitimately real concern. So let's see how this little extra wood chopping thing is going here. Dismiss. Come back later. Whoops. I'm not sure if sending them away makes a new one show up faster or not. But Okay, so we have a builder slowly removing the logs here. That's nice. That'll come in handy. Removing the trees, not removing the logs, I guess. Okay. So we might escape this terrible population collapse spiral of old age. We might beat death at its own game. Not that Banished was constructed by death. Um, but death's true game is no fun? No. So by having fun while fighting death, haven't we defeated death? Isn't that what life is? Probably. Let's just say yes. Okay. Feel free to argue about that in the comments if you disagree.